December 7th, 1941, was a Sunday. So as we always did on Sunday, we got ready for church. And just about the time of the attack, I happened to be listening to the local radio. And then all of a sudden, three aircraft flew right over us. Gray in color with the red dot on the wing. I knew my life had changed. At 7.55, they sounded general quarters, general quarters, all hands made your battle station. And I ran to this big porthole we had in the pay office and looked out. And when I looked out, I saw the rising sun on this Kate bomber that had just released its first torpedo for our ship. When the planes peeled away and I could see the big red Japanese insignia, and I knew it was the Japanese right away, and they were bombing Pearl of Fort Island. That morning, the sun was out. It was a beautiful day. And then after the the first attack, and especially when the Arizona went up in the air, everything turned black. That day was really dark and everything after the, the attack, you know. The Arizona burned for three and a half days after that. A million pounds of ammunition exploded. Aviation gas, fuel oil. They lost 1177 men on the Arizona. Just a horrible day. We were devastated. And here we realized that we had been captured. And we looked over at our flagpole, where our American flag was flying, had been all the time when we go out there. And that was a Japanese flag flying. And I'm telling you, that was, that was sinking time, hard times for me. I thought about home. I thought about all, everything and the possibility that could happen to me not knowing where we were going, the uncertainty and everything. It was, it was really tough. I was scared. I had never been so scared in my life, uh, in that, especially that first dive, because I had never been in combat before. And you, know, you look at all that, and they're throwing all that anti-aircraft fire up there. They're trying to kill me. And when I open up my eyes, I'm looking right at the side of the Kaga, just looking at it broadside, and uh, flame going up, and another, somebody else had hit it with a bomb, and the bomb was going up. Uh, it was just uh, what you could expect uh, hell to be with uh, flames and smoke and uh, all kinds of people running around that were on the flight deck. It's not like Hollywood, like juniors, like that. You know the Japanese are coming. And fear sets in. And the best way I can describe it is your mouth is dry and your heart is racing. And you wonder how you're going to perform. But when they come, fixed bayonets, dynamite throwing, graves throwing, your training sets in and you do your thing. And that fear is gone. It's a fight then for the USA. This Japanese guy just popped up out of nowhere on a little further away from us, about maybe a hundred yards away from us, and there was a crevice between us. And he took his baby out of his wife's hands and threw it over the side. And then, you know, you're just shocked at the, what's happening like that. And then he grabbed this little boy and it, the little kid was hanging on to his dad and he finally tore him loose and threw him over. And then the little girl, she just stood and looked and then she jumped. And then the other boy hesitated and he pushed him over. And then the wife and him stood and bowed to each other and she hesitated and then he pushed her over. I wished to this day that I had shot him when I had the chance and I would have saved that family. I'm controlled by my memories, that's the problem. It, nobody wants to be, but you have to be in combat to understand what a soldier went through. You have to be in it.
I remember my first view of an American soldier. We, we saw them coming out of the sky. I had no idea what a paratrooper, or what a parachute even was. I mean, uh, it was as though some magical apparition was happening. A paratrooper picked me up and put me under his arm and started jogging me down. It was a mile and a half or so to the beach. And he kept saying, I'm going to take you home, kid. I'm going to take you home. The other thing, I remember sailing into the harbor. We went into San Pedro in, in Long Beach, California. And they had a band on the dock. I'd never heard the Star Spangled Banner. Ever. Until then. And we all wept. Everybody wept. And I weep now. <laughs>